what's going on guys, welcome to the video. As some of you might remember, Lawrence Fox appeared on Question Time the other day and absolutely destroyed both a Labour peer and audience members' attempts to use the race card in relation to Meghan and Harry, who thankfully the Queen has taken their royal titles off them and they're going to have to pay back the 2.4 million that was spent on their cottage. But as you would expect, the hard left acting circles and of course Twitter have gone into an absolute meltdown since Thursday's show was aired. With Lawrence Fox doing an epic job of shitting on everyone who has tried to come for him. Because like a legend, he has not backed down once and that is exactly the way to deal with these people. They double down on their bullshit, so you've got to double down on what is factually correct or in his case, just plain common sense. Now, as I said, everyone from lefty lovies to the shit kicker media circles are all up in arms about this, calling Lawrence Fox a disgrace to actors, and of course, Lily Allen jumping in. You know, the lefty lovey who helped seal the deal that the Tories won the last election, much like Hugh Grant. So we'll take a look at a couple of segments from the Evening Standard and the Daily Mirror before we sort mine the hard left losers on Twitter. The Evening Standard's article headlines, Lawrence Fox slammed as a disgrace to actors. After question time clash on racism. Which let's be honest, most actors are a disgrace to themselves, so I don't know how they can come out with that. Lawrence Fox has been branded a disgrace by members of the Actors Union following a heated row on BBC Question Time. It wasn't really a heated row. The woman made a baseless claim. He asked her to prove it. She said he had white privilege, therefore his opinion did not matter. He called her a racist for it. That's exactly what happened. That was the correct thing to do. He was spot on. She was wrong. End of story. It's a disgrace that they would allow this woman to shoot down his opinion simply because he's a white man. The actor, 41, was labelled a white privileged male after he said accusations of racism were getting boring during a discussion about media coverage of the Duchess of Sussex. It says here, his comments were condemned by a group from the acting union Equity on Friday who called his words disgraceful play into the gallery and dubbed him a disgrace to our industry. And no, I don't consider that play into the gallery. I consider that play into common sense. Let's be honest, he took a big risk when he did that because there was no telling what the audience would be like. This is a BBC show. It could have been full of lefty lovies for all he knew. Me and my viewers know full well the BBC question time has often been filled with those types. So at the end of the day, it was a great risk for him to actually do that. He was not playing to the gallery. He was speaking common sense. And I do have to say, it is a bit rich to call him a disgrace to the industry, considering the industry itself is an absolute fucking disgrace anyway. Now that is absolutely incredible for them to say he's a disgrace to their industry. The Lewis star offered his controversial analysis during a televised debate about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex decision to step back from royal life. It wasn't controversial to anyone but the hard left lunatics who are screeching about it on Twitter, which we will look at in a moment. First, we need to have a look at what old Lily Allen had to say, especially given the shit that she was talking during and after the election campaign that Labour lost. No doubt, partly thanks to her and the rest of the lovies who backed the Corbinated Chicken or Joe Swinson during the last election. The Mirror's saying, Lily Allen attacks Lawrence Fox's views on Meghan Markle after question time clash. <laughs> Lily Allen has slammed Lawrence Fox's views surrounding the topic of press coverage of Meghan Markle after he expressed these views on BBC Question Time. Appearing on the programme, the actor and musician 41 clashed with the audience member as we knew. We don't want to read out what he said. We've already done a video covering it. We don't need to do that. Here we have Lily Allen saying this on her Instagram since she deleted her Twitter. Sick to death of lovies like a Lawrence Fox going on TV and forcing their opinions on everybody else. When he'll never have to deal with what normal people have to deal with. <laughs> Within his gated community. BBC should be ashamed. This is not what we pay our TV licence for. Oh my days, is this woman actually for real? Has she completely forgot what she was doing during the election campaign, as I said a minute ago? And let's not talk about lovies. She is a Lib Dem and Labour lovey, as is Hugh Grant. Which is something I have mocked on the channel many times already. It would seem she quickly forgot suckling on the balls of Jeremy Corbyn during the election campaign. 
Forgetting, of course, that her and Hugh Grant are the greatest lovies of all. And let's be honest with her gated community comment. She's hardly living on your average British street, let me tell you that. I expect she is also in a gated community. Maybe even the same one. And I'm sorry, but the way Lawrence Fox dealt with the woke bullshit that we see too much these days is exactly what people should pay a TV license for. It's probably about the only reason why a TV license would be worth it if every show consisted of someone telling these woke assholes the way it really is in the real world, where we all live. You don't live in the real world or deal with normal people. You are a singer and therefore should stick to just doing that. Because your political activism is not wanted by any of us, and let's be honest, no one would listen to you anyway. Your songs are shit, and are you even still relevant is my question. And this is what she says here, stick to acting mate, instead of ranting about things you don't know nothing about. <laughs> well I have to say there guys, Pot and Kettle definitely comes to mind when you talk about Lily Allen. With Lawrence Fox responding to her on Twitter, Lily Allen is the most stunningest and bravery artist in the whole wide world. Hashtag stunning and brave. <laughs> oh, I fucking love it. What an absolute fucking idiot this woman is. But enough of Lily Allen and the articles here. We got Twitter to go through. So let's take a look at some of the tweets relating to Lawrence Fox appearing on Question Time and being one of the very few actors that will go against the woke narrative. And here we have the first one. <laughs> woke Twitter goes Lawrence Fox hunting. <laughs> fucking love that. That's fucking great. Right, we're not quite on the salt mining yet, but we'll have a look at a couple of these first. It gets worse. The woman was a BBC plant placed there to try and humiliate Lawrence Fox. Didn't work though, did it, BBC? And that is her there, Rachel Boyle. BBC Question Time audience plant turned out to be an educator who has worked for the BBC in the past. She slated white men and labelled Britain as racist. Well, that's not surprising to anyone. But it just goes to show she's not a lowly audience member, that's for sure. And there's another one here. What a surprise. The woman who shouted white privilege at Lawrence Fox during BBC QT turns out to be a university lecturer in race studies. It's sad seeing universities being turned into such toxic places by these ideological zealots. And I would have to agree with that. And here we have our first crybaby, Daniel, saying I have hashtag white privilege is racist. When did your white privilege get you stop and searched because of the colour of your skin? Now I've talked about this many times. I live in London. I got stop and searched daily when I was a kid. And let me tell you, it was nothing to do with the colour of my skin. It's just because I was a kid hanging around on the streets of London, generally looking like we're up to no good. It had nothing to do with skin colour. They would pull over everyone and stop and search them just because they could. And when were you not employed due to the colour of your skin? So when was you then also? Because last time I checked, mate, that was against the law. So never in your life has someone said to you, we're not employing you because of your skin colour. So you can stop that absolute shit right now. But this is the type of nonsense that you deal with on Twitter, it would seem. Here we have Paul Campbell, Lawrence Fox, shouting down a woman of colour in the audience to obliterate her opinion that the treatment of Meghan Markle is racist. Absolutely convinced me that there is no racism in the UK. Not. Hashtag BBCQT. Well, first and foremost, he didn't shout down anyone. He responded to a bullshit statement with the facts of life and something most of the world agrees with at the end of the day. It's only woke, soy-drinking shit weasels that think anything different, because of course you all scream about it on your Twitter echo chambers, much like old Paul here has clearly been doing and did with this tweet. And then we have this one, Otto English, just the absolute cherry on the top of them all this guy is. Lawrence Fox is a near-perfect metaphor for Brexiteers. He thinks he's won, he thinks he's owning everyone, and that he's taken control. But actually, he's done himself incalculable damage, and I doubt very much that he'll work again. And there we have it, the usual old lefties trying to stop people from working because they disagree with them. We can't beat their ideas or their facts, so we'll try and take away their life. It's fucking incredible. These people absolutely make me sick. Here we have another one. Oh, a little check mark. Will Black. Rich, privileged, mediocre establishment figures like Lawrence Fox, Pierce Morgan and faded comedians think they are being refreshingly controversial, saying atrocious things for attention and money. 
but it's as boring and predictable as Jim Davidson was in the 80s. No, you're just salty as fuck, mate. At the end of the day, they are saying what people are thinking, regardless of race. I'm pretty sure the majority of black people would not want you arseholes on Twitter screaming about how oppressed they are and how much of a victim they should all feel. Because last time I checked, they certainly don't consider themselves victims, that is for sure. And here we have another one from Amelia. We are the most tolerant, lovely country in Europe. Lawrence Fox, 2020. I'll just pop brand and tell that to my 80 year old dad who just had to apply to remain in a country he's lived in for 71 years. Which is just called bullshit on her own claim there instantly that this country is not tolerant. If your dad has lived in this country for 71 years and he can remain here after a 5 minute application form, I'd say that's quite tolerant. Never mind the fact that he's lived here for 71 years, making the country obviously very tolerant. What an absolute idiot these people are, and are obviously just salty for the sake of being salty. It's pretty pathetic. Here we have another one, Fiona. Posh white actor Lawrence Fox shouts down brown woman in audience for observing racism in MNH's press treatment. It's got boring now he jeers before deciding she is in fact racist towards him. Christ alive, get in the bin. Question time, hashtag BBCQT. No, you get in the bin, you fucking idiot. Like I said earlier, he didn't say racism is getting boring. He simply said it's getting boring listening to people scream racism every time someone criticises Meghan Markle. Which, it is. And I'm sure everyone would agree with that. Except, of course, these lefty lunatics on Twitter. Here we have another blue checkmarked idiot. I have just watched a clip of a white man on BBC Question Time last night saying the racism accusations were all getting a bit boring now. If I went on TV and said that about homophobic, anti-Semitic or sexual harassment allegations, I'd never work again. That's privilege for you. No, that's your own ideology coming back to bite you in the arsehole. It's you lunatics that love your cancel culture at the end of the day. No one else, your own friends would cancel you if you say something they don't like. Which, to be honest, might well happen to Lawrence here. Hopefully it doesn't. And here we have another blue checkmark toss pot. Lawrence Fox, another posh boy who hasn't been told to fuck off anywhere near enough in his charmed life. And I expect neither of you. So fuck off, you salty prick. And I think to finish off our salt mining, we will end on Aisha Harazika. You know, the Ramonian media shit weasel who talks more crap than Lily Allen. She says, reflecting on the whole Mexit racism media ding dong this week, every clip that has gone viral has had a white male presenter with white sidekicks and one woman of colour on her own getting told that she is imagining it. Baited and humiliated. Feels like we're really evolving. No, that's just your crazy warped view on things. At the end of the day, people are screaming racism and never seem to be able to prove it. That is the problem people are having and simply what Lawrence Fox was calling out. Naturally, you perpetually outraged spunk trumpets are crying your eyes out over it. Now, obviously, Lawrence Fox has done a great job on Twitter of destroying these lefty losers and just earlier this morning, he said he's having a day off from it. So hopefully we might have seen the end of this saga, which is kind of a good thing that I left my video till now, even if it is a bit late. But the outrage on Twitter has been biblical. I just selected a few because obviously there is literally thousands of tweets, both complaining about what he said and of course supporting him. Maybe 5248. I don't know. I didn't really count between them. But there is a lot and I have only shown a very small amount here because this video is already going to be extremely long. But on that note, I will end it there, guys. As some of you will know, I have started doing live streams and uploading gaming content on my second channel. If you are interested in joining me for a chat in real time during one of my live streams, have an interest in gaming related content on YouTube, or simply want to follow me over there because you are a legend, the link to subscribe will be down in the video description and as a pinned comment. I hope to see you all there. Now as always, I want to thank our YouTube, PayPal, Patreon and Subscribestar members for supporting the channel, along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell and share this video as it helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you all in the next one. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, 
the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. And that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. Ramon! Ramon!